Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll learn how we can prevent the team site members from editing the site pages in SharePoint Online. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and this is my team site with the name of pages test. I will open this site in my new tab. Okay, so now we are on our site with the name of pages test. So on this site, this is my page on the home. And if I will click on there are three members who have the access to this particular site. First is me who has who is the owner of this site. And then we have the two members, those have access to this site. One is Ritika and the another username is Peter. So now what what I want is I want these both the users to you know add anything to this site but I don't want them to you know change the look and feel of this team site. If I'll click on edit you can see we can you know delete this web part we can you know move this news web part to somewhere else. So I don't want my users to you know make any sort of changes on this particular site in the terms of look and feel and the modification. So in another browser I have logged in with the credentials of Peter. Let's go there. Okay, so friends I have logged in with the credentials of Peter as you can see and this is the same site pages test and here you can see Peter can if he will click on edit he can also you know change the look and feel of the same page. Now let's see how we can you know stop these both users to make any sort of changes in the terms of modification of this pages. So let's go back to my account. Okay, so we are back on my account. Here I will click on the site contents. And here you can see as all the documents saved in the inside the document library. Now here we have the site pages. All the pages of this site of this particular site will be saved inside this site pages. So I will open this. This is basically the page library. And here you can see this is the same page which I was talking about. So I will click on this three dots and here we have the option of manage access. So here you can see the page test owners is the you know I am the only owner of this page. And then we have the page test visitors. So already the page test visitor as of now no one is the uh, visitor of this page has the view access. So, and now okay sorry I will click on again the manage access. And again, you can see the page test members. The members are Rithika and Peter. They have the edit access. So what we can do, I will click on click here and now I will click on can view. So now I have given both the members the view permission on this page. And now I will close this. Let me refresh the page once. Okay, let me go to this page now and now let's log in using the credentials of Ritika and let's see if she can you know edit the same page or not now because we have modified the permission and now she has the view permission so let me minimize this okay so we have logged in using the credentials of Ritika so we are on SharePoint admin center I will click on active sites and here let me search for the site here we go let me open this in the new tab And you can see the edit option is now gone. So only now Ritika can you know add the news post. Now she is unable to you know edit anything on this page. She can only add what the content which she want. Same for Peter as well. Let me show you. Okay, so you can see this is the Peter's account. Let me refresh the page. And same for Peter, you can see the edit option is now gone. Okay, so now we are back on this profile. Again, I will go to the site contents. Okay, friends, so now I have want if I will add more pages to this particular site, I want both the members of this site to not to edit the rest of the pages as well. As of now, we have only you know, given the view permission to this page only. Now I want 
these both the users to have only view permission to all the pages. So what we can do, we'll click on this gear icon and here we have the option of library settings. We'll go there. And now we have the option of permission for this document library. I will click on this. And here you can see this library inherits the permission from its parent page test. So it has the permission which is coming from the you know, top level. So what we can do, we can stop the inheriting permission from the parent. And now we'll click on OK. So now this particular, you know, the document library has the unique permissions. So now what we can do, we can select the radio button of this particular group of members and on and Ritika and Peter are part of this group. And now what we can do, we can edit the user permission. And instead of giving them the edit permission, now we can give the permission of read. And again, I will click on OK. And now you can see the permission for the members is now read. Now I will go back to my site. And here, if I will click on more pages, the both the users will have only the read access. So now let's go back to the another browser in which we have logged in using the Ritika's credentials. Okay, so now uh, we are back to Ritika's profile. You can see we have logged in using his credentials again. I, and now if Ritika will click on this gear icon and now if she will try to add a page, let's see what happens. Okay, so she is getting the option to create a page. I will click on the blank page. Now I will click create the blank page and here I will click on create page. Okay, now let's give it a name to this page, Ritika test. Okay. Let me close this and if Ritika will click on publish, you can see she will immediately get a pop up like page creation has failed because you don't have the permission to create a page on this site. Contact the site owner for more information and the same behavior will be for the Peter as well. So friends, that's how we can, you know, prevent our users, modify the feel and look and to create the pages on the SharePoint site. So friends, let's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.